Hey out there in VIP Kid Land, it's teacher Christy back again with today's tips. And today we're gonna talk about branding. What is your brand? You are competing with more people than you will probably compete with in the rest of your life. By the end of this calendar year, you will have over 100,000 teachers that are trying to get the same students that you are. And you may have been an educator your whole life, you may have been in the public schools, Whatever it is that you may have done, right now you are a business owner. You are a product. And how we approach this has to be slightly different if you want to have the maximum amount of success. So when we talk about branding, branding is a type of marketing that immediately sets you apart. Think about this. Think about McDonald's. Kids learn McDonald's often before they learn almost any other word. And you have babies that know what McDonald's is. That's because McDonald's has a clear brand, a clear marketing. I mean, think about it. We know what McDonald's looks like. We know what it smells like. We know what to expect. And so we associate those things with McDonald's. Now imagine a moment that McDonald's was painted purple. Would this be the same experience? No. You'd be like, what the heck? It's purple. It's not supposed to be purple. I mean, it's almost a little rain man. It's supposed to be this way. That's called good marketing. Everyone around the world can identify McDonald's. It's brilliant. So when you talk about branding yourself, the first thing you wanna think about is, are you setting a clear message? Can you see that message from the outset of your encounter with that particular child? Well, I always have a hat. I have like a million hats. I probably have, well not a million, I probably have 40. And I have some really unique hats. So I have dog hats and puppy hats and cat hats and monster hats. These hats, immediately, child comes on the screen, what they see more than anything is this bright hat. Well, this hat sends a clear message. Hey, I'm here to have fun. We're gonna have fun together and this is gonna be a fun, silly time. Instantaneous message about who I am. In fact, I could be super tired. I could have a hard time engaging. I'm still gonna look really excited, really engaged and there with the student because of this hat. The second thing you notice, I have the green background. Now the green background is incredibly effective because I get comments from you guys constantly. What's with the green background? I get Skype messages. Christy, what's with the green background? You all wanna know. If you all wanna know why I have a plain green background, I've done effective marketing. You're engaged with that. Now I used to have an awesome mural, but it started coming away from the wall and I had a whiteboard on this side and it was very interactive and as I was changing around I all of a sudden had the plain green background behind me and I noticed in the imagery that the plain green background makes me stand out number one number two it's incredibly bright no matter what time of day and usually it's like two in the morning it looks bright and sunny where I am it makes me happy but it delivers a clear message a very clear message I am clear clean and effective this is sending that signal to the audience or to, in this case, the student. Um, to my YouTube videos, it's sending a clear message too. So is it delivering your message? So for some of you have a bunch of stuff on your wall, you've got the kid's name on the wall, you've got the calendar, all of this is branding. And if you start doing it, it starts working, you need to keep doing it. Kind of like McDonald's doesn't paint itself purple. Change might be part of your brand, but that brand needs to create some, some stability. The second part of branding is it creates credibility. It, it's credibility. A lot of teachers ask, do we have to wear the orange? Orange doesn't look attractive on most of us. Um, and VIP Kid can no longer legally require us to wear orange. I always wear orange, no matter what. And this is because of branding principle number two. Branding confirms your credibility. Wearing orange, having VIP kid colors in my background makes me seem credible as a teacher. It also makes me come across as a team player. So not only credible because I have VIP kid and I have been working for them and I clearly am consistent with their message. Um, it sends a message that a very strong message to a Chinese market that I am credible. The third thing is, is emotionally connects with that student and that's where a lot of your toys and your props 
And the things that you do in class become part of branding. I have a very specific way that I give stars. I'll do it for you, just for you. Ready? It goes like this. And we do this whole thing. We go. <sighs> Always end in with the reason why. This is my branding. This is what kids come to expect. They'll act this whole process out. And we know this. You've seen kids that go, this is a, they copy. Or if they can't hear you, they'll automatically copy the behavior that you have. So you're modeling the behavior that you want them. And you're motivating those kids to buy. Branding also creates loyalty. And that connection, that's what's going to get you those regulars. So when you go back to my green background, uh, the reason why I don't have a white background and the reason I don't put calendars and everything in the background is because everybody else does. Look at all the pictures of VIP classrooms you see. Now it's become a thing. You have the white background with all the, the cool little background things. Well, how am I going to be different from everybody else? Um, your reward systems become huge branding. You know, they become accustomed a to certain reward systems. You want consistency. And what you need to really think about is how does this deliver a message? As a YouTuber, I started this channel very simply. I didn't know where it was going to go. So I just basically put myself up there with my green wall. And I have now become a lot bigger. And I can put great little fancy, you know, thumbnails on there like everybody else on YouTube does. But the thing is, when you see my video come up and you see the green and you see the orange, you know exactly what you're getting. You see it, you know it's me. And you know you're getting a clean, straightforward, no frills, to the point video. It's very effective marketing. Likely I won't change it anytime soon because it sends a clear message. And it also sends a message to my target audience, which is you. The average person watching my video is not some YouTube you know, browser who's looking for those kind of shinies. They're teachers like you who have limited time who are looking for information. So with your branding, I would strongly suggest that you really think about it. Every element, what you wear, how, what your body language is, what your routines are. Routines are very important. And what your backgrounds are. Well, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much. If you liked it, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you haven't, I'll be adding stuff every day. Hit that like button. Have a great day. Happy teaching.